So I'm going to read off some actual analogies used by high school students in their essays. Um, thanks to Melanie for sharing this post. Here's the first one. He felt confused. As confused as a homeless man on house arrest. The sun was below the watery horizon like a diabetic grandma easing into a warm salt bath. She was like a magnet. Attractive from the back. Repulsive from the front. Her eyes twinkled like the mustache of a man with a cold. When she tried to sing, it sounded like a walrus giving birth to farm equipment. The ballerisa rose gracefully and extended one slender leg behind her like a dog at a fire hydrant. She grew on him like she was a colony of E. coli and he was room temperature Canadian beef. The lamp just sat there like an inanimate object. She had him like a toenail stuck in a shag carpet. That one's kind of disgusting. Her face was a perfect oval, like a circle that had two sides gently compressed by a tight master. His career was blowing up like a man with a broken metal detector walking through an active minefield. Her eyes were like the stars, not because they twinkle, but because they were so far apart. From the attic came an unearthly howl. The whole scene had an eerie, surreal quality, like when you're on vacation in another city, and Jeopardy comes on at 7 instead of 7.30. It was as easy as taking candy from a diabetic man who no longer wishes to eat candy. She had a deep, throaty, genuine laugh. Like that sound a dog makes before it throws up. The love burned with the fiery intensity of a urinary tract infection. It's basically an illusion and no different than if I were to imagine something else, like Batman riding a flying toaster. If it was any colder, it'd be like being in a place that's a little colder than it is here. Joy fills her heart like a silent but deadly fart fills the room with no windows. The bird flew gracefully into the air like a man stepping on a landmine in zero gravity. The revelation that his marriage of 30 years had disintegrated because of his wife's infidelity came as a rude shock, like a surcharge at a firmly surcharged free ATM. And uh, that's it. Thanks for sharing that. Bye.